Hey guys, today's question of the day refers to 240 volt power from these solar power stations, also known as solar generators. But the question that comes up is, can I take a Delta Pro and one expansion battery and get 240 volt power? And the answer is no. The same thing applies to the AC300, the AC500, the Mango Power E, pretty much any solar generator but you basically have to have two solar generators or power stations to make 240 volt power. The only exception is with the Zender Super Base V. That is a new unit that's coming out that I'll be reviewing here on the channel soon. Basically, you have to have two power stations, not just one power station and an expansion battery, because you really have to have two inverters in order to get 240 volt power. So the way that it works is in your house, in your normal wall outlet, you have what's called 120 volt, sometimes called 110 volt single phase power. And phase just refers to that sine wave. You oftentimes see a picture of a sine wave and it's a pure sine wave, which means it's just a nice smooth wave. And that happens 60 times every second because we have 60 hertz power here in the USA. And so the way that it works is with normal appliances, whether it's a coffee maker or a vacuum or a refrigerator or a freezer, anything like that, it uses 120 volts, usually up to 15 amps and 60 hertz power. And when you have larger appliances, such as an electric stove, an electric water heater, an electric dryer, a well pump, anything like that that uses 240 volt power, really what it is, is two legs or two power sources of 120 volt power. But each leg or each power source has a sine wave that goes like this, and they call it split phase when it's 240 volt power, and that's here in the US. In the UK, EU, and so on, they have single phase 240 volt power. That's a whole different thing. So here in the US, what we have to do is have the split phase be opposing. So when leg one or power source one, when the sine wave is going up, what has to happen with the other sine wave is it needs to be going down, needs to be opposed. You have two sine waves going like this, opposing or split rather than one. If they're at the same or similar sine wave, then they can't put out the proper power to run that 240 volt equipment. So I know we're kind of getting into the weeds here, but that is why you can't just have one inverter and one battery to get 240 volt power. It's because the inverter is what gives out the sine wave, not the battery. So you must have two inverters so you can have split sine wave like this. I feel like I'm at a discotheque doing a dance. But the only exception is the Zender Super Bass V. Now, the reason it's such a cool looking unit is because it has both single phase and split phase, which is basically one 120 volt option or one 240 volt option. The plugs are right there. It looks like it's going to be a really good unit. We won't know until I get it here to test and do some evaluating, run the whole house, see if it really does work. But that's to answer that question of can you take one power station and one battery and get split phase 240 volt power? You absolutely cannot. You must have a split phase inverter or two inverters that can do split phase. And so what has to happen is you can't just take two inverters and connect two 120 volt legs, link them together to get 240 volt split phase because those sine waves are moving at 60 times per second that's 60 hertz and you have to synchronize them to be opposed or kind of desynchronize them i guess in a way and that's why for example with the delta pro you have the 240 volt hub what that hub does is it takes power from delta pro one and power from delta pro two and forces the sine waves to split properly. Same with the AC500, the Blue Eddy AC500 unit that I have. What it does with its fusion box is a little different. What it does is it takes AC500-1 and AC500-2, and it runs a communication cable between the two of them. And that communication cable 
basically the two units get to tell each other at which way their sine wave is moving. So without the communication cable, they're just going and there's no way to oppose them perfectly. But if you use that communication cable, it tells them, okay, well, unit two, you're gonna go up and unit one, you're gonna go down and you're gonna oppose each other perfectly so you can get that split phase power out. So definitely some confusing stuff, but hopefully those examples helped you understand why you can't get 240 volt split phase power from just a single unit and expansion battery. You must have two inverters, or in the case of the Super Bass V, it has in it what's called a split phase inverter, where it can do single phase and split phase all in one. Generally, you only see that on residential house installations. Uh, that's something that Zender wanted to bring to the market and I think it's a really smart idea and we'll test all of that soon. So thanks guys, prepare for self-rescue. If you want help with any of this, just shoot me an email to info at poweredportablesolar.com.